News 12's Brian Donahue went looking for fans who have been with the team all along. And that journey took him to Union and the home where he grew up. All week as I've done story after story about St. Peter's magical run in the NCAA tournament, I've been searching to find that one true, ultimate, most loyal fan who stood with this team long before we all jumped on the bandwagon. And for a whole bunch of reasons, some personal, some journalistic, I've avoided telling the story of the one person who fits that description most perfectly. Let's go Peacocks! My dad. Bill Donahue, St. Peter's class of 58, and a regular at games ever since. It's been fun. It's been total, total fun. And every day's a miracle. The famous run, baby, run victory over Duke in 1968. Of course he was there. You had, um, you had a one-year-old and a five-year-old and a four-year-old at home. Did you, would you just tell mom I'm going to the game with, with my buddies? Well, I had priorities. <laughs> As kids, he took us to games at the Yanatelli Center, and I've still never been to a college hoops game anywhere else, actually. And when it comes to my 28 years working for some of the biggest news outlets in the state, well, he spent every one of them hounding me for my employers and former employers' paltry coverage of his team. I still do. Now I can't. But one shining moment. Big deal. We have to win three impossible games to get, a, to get any publicity. Nobody, nobody talks about them. Nobody. All year long, nobody talked about them till this. Where were they? Dad's 83 now, doesn't move too well. And one frigid night this season, he nearly sent half the family at the cardiac arrest, driving truck route one and nine to go to a Peacocks game. He recalls the 50s and 60s when thousands would regularly pack the Jersey City Armory for games. But in recent decades, the team has struggled to draw just a few hundred people. This year, this year, against St. Francis. We lost to St. Francis. And, and um, a friend of mine, we, we were sitting, nobody was even around us. The only ones there, the true Peacock faithful. And if you think this miracle run has been special to watch, you should see it through their eyes. <laughs> I don't know how to do this. Try to explain it. So while the cries of let's go peacocks are still echoing out across our beloved dirty jurors, let's tweak that chant a little bit to make it one fan's and one family's message. Thank you, peacocks. I'm Brian Donahue. That's Positively New Jersey. Go. <laughs> Tremendous story. By the way, I don't know if you noticed the color of the house, but it's navy blue, and Dad says that's not a coincidence.